Okay. Now, what what did the name? What's your uh, a pen name for this? Oh yeah, I definitely didn't write this. This was definitely found under a bridge with the pen name Chesmeralda Thunderdome. Chesmeralda Thunderdome. <laughs> All right. Does it have a title? Um. Yes, and it's one I'm. I, I read on the page, and I'm not cre creating just now. Yu-Gi-Oh. The legendary Yu -Gi -Oh, tale. the legendary tale uh, of the, <laughs> the Millennium <laughs> The Millennium Boob. Boob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start by saying I wouldn't call myself a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh per se, but I can confirm <laughs> that I smoked a ton of weed and fell asleep on the couch while an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh was playing in the background, effectively waking me walking me through a vivid fanfic nightmare that I would like to take you to now. I would like to take you to now. Okay. We begin as Yugi and his pals wander through Maximilian Pegasus's duelist kingdom, island, or whatever. They are hey, looking... Hey, Tristan, yeah. Tristan, on, on Twitch, it's just showing you still. Yeah, I, de I didn't put this one into HTML or anything. Oh, I thought I thought Tracy was going to be drawing through the whole thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, Tracy, what's going you, on? I'm drawing right now. Well, you're you're still drawing Phineas. Are you going to switch over to Yu-Gi-Oh? I'm 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 drawing the beak suit, dude. It takes time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, um, that, that's what sorry. that is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> beak suit. There it is. Yep. <laughs> Is that the actual big suit, or are you just riffing? No, man, I, I'm, I'm. It's my own spin. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yu-Gi-Oh time. As Yugi and his pals wander through Maximilian Pegasus's Duelist Kingdom Island, or whatever, they're Pegasus. Looking... Pegasuses. Pegasus is the plural of Pegasus. Well, it's not plural. Yeah, it's, uh, it's possessive. Uh, possessive. They are looking for star bits to put in their wristband star holder thingies so they can all get <laughs> so they can get all the way to Pegasus's castle and how many time am I, times am I gonna have to say Pegasus's? Oh, I'm <laughs> Great. <clears throat> Pegasi? <laughs> All the way to Pegasi Castle and gouged <laughs> out his millennium eye because he turned Yugi's grandfather's soul into TV static and kidnapped Kaiba's brother, Mokuba. If you have Mokuba! Yugi, if you have Yami Yugi say it, I'll do it. Okay, okay, got it. Only they didn't only they don't know about Mokuba yet. It's probably not relevant. Or is it? Our pointy-haired hero and his friends, Joey, Tristan, and Taya, are wandering around this unfamiliar island, looking for someone to duel. Yugi looks around. Wait. They don't do duel anymore? You know, I don't know. Just regular dueling now? Dueling later. I don't know. Okay. Where are their motorcycles? Oh... We'll get those later. <laughs> yeah, that, that's uh, that's, a, that's something else. We'll get to. We're actually going to do some Yu-Gi-Oh five Ds, but this is classic Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Yugi looks around. I am not sure what is going to happen next. He thinks to himself. I am trying to get my grandfather's soul back from Pegasus. I know that if I win enough Star Boys for my wristband thingy, Pegasus will be forced to duel me, and then we will duel to get my grandfather's soul. But that will only happen if I can get enough Star Points. I've got to keep trying. While Yugi is thinking, Joey is wondering something of his own. Serenity, he wonders. I wonder how my sister Serenity is doing right now. I would do anything for my sister Serenity. She has been my sister ever since we were kids. Joe remembers a time where him and his sister Serenity were laughing and playing as children, using their eyes to see things and have fun. <laughs> I will win all the duels for my sister Serenity. I've got to duel Pegasus and win the money for my sister Serenity and her eye surgery. 
My hello. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Our cat hates Joey's voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, eye surgery. My sister Serenity will be okay if I just win the prize money for her. Hmm. I'll do it for my sister. Joey continues to wonder about the future. Tristan and Taya are following behind Yugi and Joey as they walk around, hoping to find a dueling partner. Tristan begins to ponder. He wonders what he is doing here on the island. He doesn't really know how to duel yet, and he's the sole caretaker of two cats, both of which he left alone at home to go on this friendship adventure. Tristan starts thinking about his cats and how much he misses them. Right as Tristan is about to speak up about his need to return home, Taya speaks. Hey, we should all talk about our goals and why we are here. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's Tristan. Yeah. Tristan shouts, completely forgetting about his neglected former pets. <laughs> Yugi nods and says, Hmm, you're right. Well, I don't know if... I don't know if you know how important this is to me. I have to duel Pegasus to save my grandf... Just then, they hear a loud sound from the nearby forest area. Taya shouts, What was that? We should check it out, says Joey. Let's go, Tristan yells. The group runs towards the... The group runs towards the R where the heard the sound coming from. It looks like... My? But something is different. It looks as if she's fallen out of a tree and broken every branch on the way down, only she looks unharmed. My! Yugi shouts. Are you all right? They rush over to her, and they notice that Mai is completely unscratched from her fall, but she looks... But she has a dark aura around her. Kitty's making the cat flip out. Has a dark aura around her. She opens her eyes and laughs smugly. <laughs> Hello, Yugi, she says, her voice all weird like she's a ghost or something. Oh, sorry. Hello, Hello Yugi. Yugi. Man, that's loud. Uh, the group gasps. <laughs> the oh, beak suit came through there. for a second. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> My, what's wrong? That's not your normal voice. My begins to laugh maniacally. <laughs> I have been sent from the Shadow Realm to stop you from getting to Pegasus's castle. The group is shocked. I won't let I won't let that happen, my Joey shout that there's Joey. I won't let that happen, my I'll duel you right now. If I win, you go back to the Shadow Realm forever. If y if if I win, you are, you give us all your star coins. Yeah, shouts Tristan. Oh yeah, and just to make Oops. Oh yeah, and just to make things interesting, if I lose, Tristan has to kiss me. Yeah, what? Tristan exclaims. My laughs more. All right, you little fools. But I didn't come here to play. I came here to duel. And Joey, you've just signed yourself up to battle against my super secret shadow deck. I possess cards from beyond the shadow realm. They are so powerful, your monsters don't stand a chance. Wait, if they're from beyond the shadow realm, beyond the shadow realm. then they shouldn't be a shadow deck. <laughs> they're beyond shadow. Right. Joey yells as the elaborate dueling arena seems to spawn out of absolutely nowhere. As Joey ascends the stairs to, his, to the dueling platform, he thinks about his sister, Serenity. You can do this. <laughs> you can do this, Joey, Taya yells. You have to do this, cries Tristan. Do it for your grandfather, er, I mean sister, Serenity, says Yugi. The duel had just begun. Joey was nervous because he didn't want to lose, but he also really wanted to kiss Tristan. He thought about <laughs> Serenity one more time just to be safe. Then he began to draw his cards. Mai was across the dueling field? It's a field, right? Anyway, she was across from him on her side, grinning and waiting 
Joey's first move. Wait, I'm sorry. It said it was a field right that was written into the... Yes. The te- okay. I love how proudly lazy this is. Wristband <laughs> yes. thingy. I'm not looking up what that's called. Yep. I really like that. <laughs> Please continue. What's the matter? What's the matter? She taunted. Is the little baby too scared to make a move? Pathetic. Joey growls for some reason, then sh- then shouts, Red Eyes Black Dragon! as he slams his card onto the place where they put their cards. Humph, says Mai, clearly unimpressed. I can tell you are heartless to sacrifice this little lizard to my hardly lady. Mai puts her card, plays her card, and everyone else gasps. The creature appears on the field. She has the figure of a strong woman, the attitude of a rebel, no dress code, and she holds the knives and guns of a trained assassin. Yugi speaks up. What's wrong with her harpy lady? Taya answers. That's no harpy lady. She said it's a hardly lady. That's a shadow card. Look at the way her card misbehaves. That's not ladylike at all. <laughs> The group watches on in disbelief as Mai's hardly lady distracts the red-eyes black dragon by showing at her butt. The dragon is so flustered that it explodes into dust, dropping Joey's life points by 500. Gah! Joey shouts. That was my best card! What am I going to do now? He begins to wonder. I have to win. I have to do it for my sister, Serenity. Come on, shouts Yugi. I know you can do this, Joey. Do it for your sister, Serenity. Joey nods. He is now fully motivated to win this duel. Will Joey defeat Shadow Mai? Probably. I don't know. I'll write more if you want me to. (laughs) The one thing I wasn't clear on was, what was Joey's sister's name? Come up here so you can see Tracy's illustration of oh, Joey. No. <laughs> that is amazing. My big card! <laughs> I was missing a long list of uh, uh, confusing names, okay. but in each one of those, or several of those, <laughs> but uh, otherwise A+. Plus. That's and, handy fanfic. And like if unnecessarily a Disney cartoon character could just be there to like bounce ideas <laughs> off of, that would mm-hmm. help too, I think. Just provoke their lawyers. <laughs> now that we've got the beak suit back up and running here. Uh, <laughs> we're, ready for we're ready for Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Chapter 2. Joey just lost the best card in his deck from a single move by Mai's strange shadow card. But was that really Mai? <laughs> and where did these mysterious shadow cards come from? Does Joey so Wheeler... from beyond or whatever. <laughs> Does Joey Wheeler or no, no. have a well, chance sorry. against this mysterious shadowy duelist and her shady deck? Find out after this unnecessary recap. When the, we last left these children slash teens slash adults, I really can't tell, they had discovered my Valentine appearing as if she had c- crashed in the forest. She I challenged. I remember what my her. looks like. It's driving me crazy. Pointy. Everyone's pointy. Oh. Well, she's like- she's a, <laughs> you see, she's the pointy one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's got. Oh, gotcha. And, like, I'll draw her. And. <laughs> Uh, yellow one, hair, right? pink, purple mini That's skirt, perfect. purple uh, arm things, and uh, pink little like uh, cut off uh, tank toppy sort of thing. Or what's that called? Uh, uh, shit! Like it, like it doesn't have like top part, and it, it and it shows off midriff. Okay, so like crop top, yeah. yeah, yeah. This <laughs> and you said a mini <laughs> skirt, right? Yeah, 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 a purple, purple miniskirt, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's basically got Yugi hair, I think. I don't know, I don't watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Joey was Maya's opponent in this match. He clenched his cards tightly in his hand. This was a bad idea. <laughs> 
He could have damaged the cards by crushing or wrinkling them, decreasing their value or future playability. <laughs> Joey was a silly boy with too much hair near the front of his head, but that wasn't going to stop him from giving his, the, giving his duel his all. Huh, he chuckled. You, you, might be, you might have destroyed my best card, but you forgot I still have this. Go, baby dragon! Joey plays the baby dragon against Mai's hardly lady. The tiny monster sees, looks up at its short-skirted opponent and covers its eyes. Tay yells angrily, Joey, what are you thinking? Your baby dragon can't defend itself against the hardly lady. She's too lewd for such an immature audience. Her attacks will do at least double damage. Everyone nearby gasps or makes a weird noise except Mai. She chuckles, obviously. Then Yugi's golden necklace puzzle pyramid eye jewelry whatever thing starts to glow and shake and scream and pee and stuff. <laughs> Yugi begins to float and vibrate and transform as he yells the name of the show at the top of his lungs. <laughs> Yugi! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Now, all of a sudden, Yugi's eyes are drawn pointier. He seems more confident. His voice is all deep and sexy, kind of like Tristan from Quip Tracks, except he's nowhere near as cool or sexy. Anyway, cooler Yugi says stuff now. Gotta turn up my bass. Joey! Joey! He yells. Taya is right. You have to do something to protect your baby dragon before Mai makes her move. If you lose now, you can't battle Pegasus and get that eye surgery for your sister Serenity. Joey seems worried. He loves his sister Serenity. Ah, uh, damn it, I lost my place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He loves his sister Serenity. He would be devastated if he couldn't see her one last time without her also seeing him back. He knew what he had to do. I'm doing this uh, for, for my sister Serenity, he shouts. Time wizard, make my baby dragon grow. <laughs> Joey plays his time wizard card. It appears from the playing area and does a stupid dance, which I will do for you now. The reed does a stupid dance. That was the magical dance made. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the reader. The reader. Okay, yeah, okay. Is this a real thing or am I just doing a stupid dance? I don't know, it was written by Chesmeralda Thunderdome. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, the reader does a stupid dance. I say for authenticity's sake. Uh huh. Just curious, can you guys hear Kitty? She's on the floor over here. I don't know how well she's picked yeah, up. Yeah, I can hear her pretty well. Okay. Um, okay, so wait, is this a time wizard yeah, doing time a dance? Wizard. Yeah. Okay, time wizard. That was the stupid dance. <laughs> that was the magical dance. Made the baby dragon grow into the ancient Lizardo. Now, ancient Lizardo, use burning fire eruption to incinerate that hardly lady. My gasps as the dragon blows f flames at her unladylike lady. The card lady turns to dust or whatever as Mai's life points drop. Mai is shocked. She didn't expect this at all. She's got those hand-drawn lines all over her face to show that she's super stressed. Uh, but Tracy's drawing Joey. Oh, no. Should Can't keep up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're going to you're gonna have oh, to I practice in order to be a now he's yeah. courtroom artist. <laughs> Just put some lines on Joey's face. Some lines? Yeah. Do you have shock okay. lines? It, it should, have, should have that in the library. Shock lines? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see They're here. They're the ones that like come from the from the bridge of the nose in either direction. They go all over. He put a bunch nose. of lines on his face. Yeah. He's super That's shocked. What it, the more lines, the more stressed they are. 
Okay, give me a second. <laughs> uh, shocked line. Where is that stuff? Where? That's impossible, she thinks to herself. All my shadow cards are fakes that I created by hand. He shouldn't be able to defeat me no matter what he plays. The other characters react to her visible nervousness. Uh, what's wrong, oh. my afraid? Oh, oh, got Tristan, even Tristan. Sorry, sorry. I hate hate to interrupt you, yep. but uh, didn't you say that the person who gave you the first story was my name is Celestial Ludenberg? Yes. They are they are in the chat now. Oh hey, um, yeah, we actually read your fan fiction first. I'm sorry you weren't around for it, but we did read through it. Um, we loved it. it. It looks like they are sharing oh, is another this a one new with story? us. Phineas. Oh adopted, yeah, yeah, um, more and more. Genocider show. Okay, I will. Open that. Put, put, put it. Put, put it in the in the queue. It's in the queue. It's on the <laughs> this. Um, oh, this is brand new. Published twenty one hours ago. Oh wow. Okay. Hot <laughs> off the presses. Okay, oh, so we will get this. to that. Um, Hot damn. In a little bit. Um, we're in the middle of a Yu Gi Oh fan fiction, and my is shocked. I already read that. Uh, What's wrong, mate? Afraid Joey's got you on the ropes, quipped Tristan. Mai slowly started to draw her card. Suddenly, Yugi's magical gold chain pyramid started to vibrate and leak. Ah! Uh, Yugi exclaimed in his, oh, in his cooler voice. Uh, my, my <coughs> thingy. It only acts like this when there's another Millennium item is nearby. But that can't be. Even, uh, wait. The things my grandfather told me contradict this scenario being theoretically possible. Everyone is shocked. They gasp and react and stuff. Everyone knows a twist is coming, so they all look at Mai, who, guess what, is totally chuckling on herself about what is about to happen next. <laughs> she laughs. Yes, Joey, it's true. While you and your loser cheerleaders were busy playing your silly game, I was using the power of my Millennium Boob to leave the Shadow Realm and come here to vanquish you. Ha 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 She cackles more. Joey looks shocked. What? There we go. There, there, there. That's what I drew. Hold on. Just a sec, just a sec, just a sec, just a sec. <laughs> there it is. Boom. What? Whoops. Oh, <laughs> Just put that anywhere. There we go. There it is. Beautiful. I love this. Screenshot. What? Yugi's grandfather, who currently has his soul trapped in television static by Pegasus, taught me about the heart of the cards. And all the Millennium items. There's no such thing as a Millennium boob. Isn't that right, guys? He asks his friends, noticing they all have different expressions. Taya looks concerned. Well, she begins, he, he never explicitly ruled out any other lost artifacts. Yugi looks bewildered. He starts to think to himself, No, this can't be. I have to turn this duel around. Tristan looks excited. He says out loud, I wonder which of her boobs is the Millennium Boob. Taya, uh, Taya groans. May, yeah, it's May now. <laughs> May cackles and starts to make her next move. That last card was nothing compared to what I'm about to play. Say goodbye, Joey. Then bow before my magical sl sleeved wizard. My laughs maniacally as she plays another card that nobody has heard of. Meanwhile, Yugi is starting to get suspicious of these so-called shadow cards. Mai continues to speak. 
And now that I've summoned the magical sleeved wizard, I equip him with the magical wand of Hitachi. As Mai continues to laugh confidently, she plays her equip card on the magical sleeved wizard. Suddenly, it appears he is holding a sleek, sensible wand that is perfect for any woman on the go. <laughs> the wizard raises his wand high as it begins charging a magical, whisper-quiet pulsing attack. Joey, Joey's friends have fallen silent. Mai continues her taunts. I'm going to wait while you draw the magical wizard with the wand of Hitachi. <laughs> Okay, here I go. Yeah. Got some All nice right. bushy eyebrows there, very wizard like. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a nice one. <laughs> very wizardly. Uh, Lesbro Games says, <laughs> Nani. I'm, I'm very <laughs> sad because my name is Celestial Ludenberg, like, possibly left before we even let them know that we had read their story. <laughs> they, they, they were. It was just a drive by. <laughs> right, it's like, like, hey, I don't know if you want to read this pipe. Dropping <laughs> off the new fan fiction. Okay. Here's the thing, he's probably crashing 19 other uh, uh, <laughs> bad fanfic <laughs> podcasts tonight. <laughs> and it's just, he, you know what, get yourself out there. He's doing it the right way. Yeah. Yeah, did you make you it? to do in this business. You got to hustle. Sleeved wizard! <laughs> Who will read my uh, list of names? Oh yeah, sleeves. <laughs> Did oh, you, there's uh, a sleeve. There it is. Did you show up with the quick hat? Did you show up with the about the hat? Also, Tracy, he wears little bracelets that have like little ovals, like one little oval near the top. So, one bracelet. One bracelet with an. Uh, oh, whoa! What is this going on here? I okay, see, he's got. I, he has a sensible wand, right? It's perfect for a woman on the go. Is that right? Absolutely. It's a magic one. It's now the original uh, one by Vibratex. No, but... And here's that it's got like a... wand. It's Sensible. Got like a yeah, yeah, there we go. And uh, the on, like an, an on button. And there you go. Okay, there and then whistle the sleeve. This one's even bigger than the last. Oh my god, that's great! It's like perspective. I love it. He's really coming. Uh, and uh, um, he's sleeved but not pant legged, right? So he's got he's just that's it. Yeah, robe. And that oh, yeah. here oh, he's yeah. got sweatpants, un, right? Un, nice. Under tiny whiteies. Oh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But I see, like, Celestial Lundberg, like, hanging out with friends later tonight, and it's right. like, yeah, did you make it to the Quip Trucks uh, podcast? It's like, eh, I, sh I made an appearance. <laughs> <clears throat> I threw some fanfic at him. <laughs> Joey's friends have fallen silent. Mai continues her taunts. Now that my magical sleeved wizard is at his highest power level, I will activate my Millennium Boob and trap you all in the Shadow Realm forever. There's nothing your cheerleaders or geriatric lizard can do can to, to stop me now. <laughs> Mai cackles confidently while Joey appears visibly shaken. He starts to think... If I can't let, I can't let her activate the, her Millennium Boob. I've got to find a way to stop her and her wizard. But how? I can't let my sister Serenity down. She's counting on me to win for the money for her eye surgery for her eyes that need surgery. I gotta think of something that will that'll stop my wizard, or else. Will more stuff happen? Maybe. Send me five dollars. <laughs> Signed Chisarelda Thunderdome. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that was a wild ride. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. installment. <laughs>